Okay, so here we have it drawing the dub, dub, Dubin's paths. And you can see that if we make a left turn here and then a right circle and then a left, we get to the point here. That's our start point and that's our goal point to get on our line. If we make a right turn and a straight and a right turn, that's a long way around. And same with making a, sorry, left, straight, left. And this is a right turn, straight, right turn. That's a long way around. And then make a right and then a left, right. So there's left, right, left. And right, left, right are two triple circles. And then you have um, straight, or sorry, left, straight, left, right, straight, right, and then left, straight, right, and then right, straight, left are the six possible combinations. So if we boogie along here now, you can see those points change. Now this white one is the shortest path. You can see this is like a headland turn. So I'm going to adopt U-turn to use Dubin's path here. So now it's the shortest to go this way, and then you're right on the line. So you just take the shortest path, the one that has the shortest or the smallest number of segments, to get to the goal point, that just becomes the shortest path. So fairly simple in theory, um, but it works really, really well. And no matter which way you're pointing and no matter where you are, it will always find the shortest path to the start of the path that you want to do. So Dubin's Bath, it works.